Hey all, so I'm Michael, I'm, I'm a contributor at Marinade Finance. And actually, first of all, I wanted to thank Orca for making a nice presentation about MSOL. So <laughs> at this point, I'm not thinking what's left. But yeah, and we could all use some stretch. And I was actually curious, like, are there any marinators in here, any MSOL hoarders? Would, would you raise your hand, please, for me? <laughs> OK, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And it's great to meet you guys finally off chain. So and in the, in the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about what liquid staking is really about and how marinade fits in, and also how it goes even beyond that to make Solana like fundamentally better. But be, before we dive in, and before I show you how marinade works, uh, let me share a quick story how it all started. So back in February, we participated in a hackathon on Solana. And what we did it was a prototype of a liquid staking solution. And we chose liquid staking because it aligned like, perfectly with the three core values or objectives that we are after, which is, like number one, we want to take Solana and make it the most secure and decentralized. So back in February, there were only 11 validator nodes that could like, collectively hold the network and stop it. So we wanted to do something about it. And two, to bring the best user experience to Solana, to make it really easy to use it, to like, remove the barrier between the people out there and the cool technology in here. And in our case, that meant to allow the people to be able to stake their soul just by hitting a button. And three, to make Solana like, composable or capital efficient, to build this utility layer, not only to unlock the, the staked soul, but also to connect the different parts of the ecosystem and have them work together. So those were like the three main objectives, the high level ideas. We still are after. And I would say that we made some progress. So Marinade has been live for only about three months. And the staked soul now through Marinade gets delegated to more than 400 validators. We distributed more than $20 million rewards of the staking rewards through the MSOL price. And we've seen a massive growth. Like We went from, from zero to almost $2 billion TBL in those three months, making it into the top 30 DeFi projects on, on Solana. And what's kind of special is that Marinade was built like, without any VC money, without any private sale or token sale. So it was thanks to the community behind Marinade that made it what it is today, that they all helped us make it Marinade how it is. And also, like, we've recently released a governance token, MNDE, to start shaping the future of the Marinade DAO that will set the next steps for Marinade. And to reflect on all of this, Marinade gets a bit new look. So for us, it doesn't really matter you know, if you're uh, a big, small, if you're a fish, a shark, a whale, or whatever, is that you care about Solana. Like all of you here care about Solana. And that's, that is what connects us all, right? So we are trying to be like, really inclusive here. And I think that if you care about Solana, you should care about Marinade. And here's why. So as a Sol token holder looking for, to earn some additional yield, you're actually facing a dilemma in the old world. You could go and stake your Sol and lock it in to secure the network and earn the staking rewards. Or you don't stake your Sol, you go to DeFi and provide liquidity, lend it, and earn some rewards this way. But now, actually, with Marinade, with this liquid staking solution, you can do both of this. So how it works is that you deposit your SOL in Marinade, and Marinade sends you back the MSOL. The MSOL token is like a representation of your staked SOL in the pool. So it effectively like, unlocks your liquidity. And when I talked about how important it is to make the user, QX, you know, the user experience right to drive the adoption, uh, let me show you a quick like how it works in, in this new app in, in progress. So you visit the app, 
and we try to play the video, you connect the wallet, then you choose the amount of SOL you want to stake, you hit that stake SOL button, approve the transaction, and that's it. You're now staking. So that's, that's the cool thing, right? That you just converted your SOL to MSOL, which again now represents your staked SOL. So you can forget about creating multiple stake accounts, choosing the right validator, and delegating your stake. This is all done behind the scenes by you, by Marinade. So this is just like a swap, like a, like a swap on, on the Radium Orca, actually. And you can take your MSOL and unstake it back to SOL anytime you want. So you don't have to wait this traditional three to six cooldown period. You can do it like immediately. But like, wait, there's much more you can do with your MSOL. But before we get to the interesting DeFi strategies, uh, I'd like you to be a bit more curious and like to think about what happens to those staked SOL to marinate. Because this is where it gets quite interesting, and it's often overlooked. So let's talk more about it. On one hand, you know, the, the marinade works quite hard for the user to allow them to unlock the sole staked liquidity. And on the other hand, it works, I would say, even harder for Solana to make it more censorship resistant, more robust, and more decentralized. And to understand how it's done, we need to touch on the delegation strategy. So let me present you what makes Solana Solana. Today, there are more than 1,000 validator nodes on Solana. Right? The, that's what makes Solana. But the problem is they are not all the same size as this. If we look at the amount of Sol staked on those validators, you know, it's a bit more like this. And in reality, it's even more drastic, the differences. But let's say that those are the top 20 validators having enough stake to be able to collectively stop the network. So those are the top 20 validators having 33% of the total Sol staked. So we wanted to do something about it, as I said. And while I'm impressed by all the projects now launching on Solana, and actually like the, the speed of execution on Solana from the different projects. The tough question is, like what it matters if we don't make this right, if we don't make the most like robust and centralized, decentralized and secure layer for all the other projects to run on Solana. So actually, like we want to change this. We want to change this. Our goal at Marinade and with all the community is that it's not 10 or 20 validators. It's more like 100 or like even, even more of them. And that's why Marinade goes and skips those top 20 validators and delegates the soul to the rest, to the other well-performing validators so that we can spread the stake around and it gets like more evenly distributed. And this is all done by this transparent, permissionless, like open, open source strategy that anybody can see how it's done. And anybody can check the score of their validator. And anybody can spit up a new validator and get staked by Marinade as long as they fit the criteria. So there is nothing like whitelisting. So that we can take Solana, you know, as is, and make it more like this. More robust, more decentralized, make it better. And this is how Marinade makes Solana more censorship resistant behind the scenes. So you can think of MSOL like a SOL stake to more than 400 validators. So you're actually diversifying risk both for you and the network. Right, so if, and if you want to be smart, you can use that link at bit.ly slash mbrink.1 and, and put it on Twitter. And actually, is there, if there would be a validator that would like stop performing, the marinade tracks it and goes and rebalances the stake for you. So MSOL would be something like an ETF index of the SOL staked to hundreds and hundreds of validators on Solana. So you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket, which is, which is quite cool. 
And now to the fun part, right? So most of the people know about this part, which is like the, you can take the MSOL and use it in DeFi. So while MSOL will not probably da buy you uh, a drink at this conference, you can do pretty much anything with it in the DeFi ecosystem in Solana. So you can go and put it in the liquidity pool. You can put it to Radium, to Orca, Saber, Mercurial, Aldrin, Atrix. You can, you can put it pretty much anywhere and earn some trading fees this way. You can also go and lend it or use it as collateral and borrow against it on the top lending platforms such as Port, Apricot, Larix. And actually, it like happened at this very conference that yesterday MSOL got listed on Pith Network, having another reliable source of the price feed. And just this morning, uh, we got excited because we found out that Solent actually listed MSOL as well. So even now, you can use MSOL even on Solent on the lending platform. And what's even like, more exciting is that, that today, we are happy to announce that we've partnered up with Chainlink coming now to Solana. And Chainlink will provide the whole security and the whole reliable price feed for the other projects on Solana to make it even more easier and more secure to integrate with Marinade. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I feel like Steve, Steve Jobs now. Thanks a lot. All right, so that was, that was like the lending part. And then, like, we're not done. Uh, two, two weeks ago, actually, the MSOL got listed on the one and only FTX exchange. So even now, people can go to the FTX, and they can swap their USD for MSOL like, directly, skipping the SOL completely, which is, which is a big thing. So on FTX, it got accepted as collateral and for conversions. And we're in touch with another like, top-tier exchange that should follow quite soon as well. All right. So like, what's left, right? What's, what's next for Marinade, you're asking, probably, right? And uh, what kind of a talk would it be if we didn't touch the expensive JPEGs? So yeah, the NFTs. That's probably the only excuse right now why people are not all in MSOL, because you can't use your MSOL to buy or mint NFT. And as you might have guessed it, this is going to change as well. So we're in touch with multiple projects on Solana, with multiple NFT projects, and we're ready to take the next step to denominate NFTs in MSOL. And what's more, we're looking at NFTs as a way to connect and to engage our community, and also to connect with the other communities across the Solana ecosystem. So we're actually about to introduce our own NFT strategy and connect it to the Marinade token to bridge the gap between fun and governance. So we're like, really looking forward to that. Next, we might talk you know, about security since there are more than 7 million SOL now staked in the platform, so we should touch that. We're quite happy that we're done now with the third audit done by Kudelski Security. And we've also invited more than 50 blockchain in engineers to the, to the Marinade code base, uh, including the top, the top developers from, from Radium, Serum, FTX, Mercurial, Orca. So they're all, all in there to have more eyes on the code. And the program is designed to be non-custodial and permissionless, so that anybody from the outside can go and call the program, and also that the MSOL token stay on your wallet, so it's still your wallet. And the next dimension would be the ecosystem governance. And that means that Marinade as a program is updatable by a multisig 6 over 11, which is run by the top ecosystem players in Solana, such as Serum, Radium, Orca, Mercurial, FTX, Alameda. So we have like many parties in the governance as well to make it as secure as possible at this very moment before the token is out there and to be able to do the token voting. And next, as I mentioned, the transparent delegation strategy. So 
everybody can check and they can go and see where Marinate stakes the sol and what validators gets the stake. They can check the performance and how it's done because the formula is out there, it's open sourced. And we even do like the, the epoch reports so that anybody can see what's done and how it gets staked. So like what's left? What's left is to invite all of you to come and be part of a marinade. As I said, the, the project is bootstrapped, so we didn't take any VC money, we didn't do any, any token sales. So what we like to say is that the only way to get the governance token and the seed around the governance table is actually by contribution. So this is a call to all of you to come build together with us and start shaping the future of the Marinade DAO and also set the next steps for Marinade because we, we can't do it all just by the team that, that went back in February and, and tried to build this. You can go to docs.marinade.finance to learn more about how we work, about the ongoing projects and what's next, and also to go and apply to become a contributor yourself. You can go there, you can talk us at Twitter, on Discord, or even here. You can, so you can support us, so we'll be very happy to have you guys in the conversation with you. So once again, we started Marinade with this promise to take Solana as is and all its amazing technical capabilities and like, prepare it even further for this adoption, massive growth, and to, to improve it in general. So we're, we're actually thinking that we're building here an infrastructure layer for Solana uh, to bring in the best user experience for the user, composability, and decentralization. So today I invite you to like, change your mind and think this way, the way you think about Marinade and MSOL, is that by using Marinade and MSOL, you're not doing liquid staking, but you're actually making Solana like, fundamentally better because you're helping Solana get more decentralized, more capital efficient, more composable, the most secure and easy to work with. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great to, to spend a few, few minutes uh, in here, guys, with you to have this uh, talk for you. And as I said, we'll be, we'll be happy to, around to get in touch with more of you. But, uh, that was it. Thank you very much for having me. And happy staking.